Well, I'm afraid I'm not going to comment on that because that is between politicians and that is between Mr. Advani and Mr. Vajpayee. Uh, I will not uh, comment on that uh, part. Of but your recollection of events is very different to what Mr. Advani has presented in his book as well as in his interviews. Well, my, my recollection is what I've told you. So you were personally, pro I presume, of course, surprised I to discover that Mr. Advani came well, to you. No, I'm not going to go beyond that. <laughs> Let me come to a second important episode that happened during the Vajpayee years. It's widely believed that after the <coughs> Gujarat killings, Mr. Vajpayee believed that Mr. Narendra Modi should be replaced or removed as Chief Minister of Gujarat. Can you confirm that? Uh, frankly, the politics of uh, Gujarat were never discussed between Mr. Vajpayee and myself. But he did say publicly that Raj Dharm should be followed. And this he said uh, a few days before the National Executive Meeting in Goa uh, that, that year. My impression was that he was not going to insist upon the resignation of uh, Mr. Modi, but that he was going to ask for corrective action by Mr. Modi to take care of the situation as it, as it had uh, evolved in, in uh, Gujarat. And uh, I think um, uh, Mr. Jaswan Singh has also used exactly the same words that I am using, uh, that is corrective action in his interview a few days ago to another TV channel on the same, same issue. And this is, I think this would be the correct uh, view of what Mr. Vajpayee thought should be done. He wouldn't have demanded uh, uh, the resignation of Mr. Modi. This is my belief in, in that. He would have asked for corrective action. In recent interviews, people have begun to speak about a conversation or a meeting that took place on the plane between Delhi and Goa. Present on that occasion were allegedly Mr. Advani, Mr. Shori, Mr. Vajpayee, Mr. Jaswan Singh. And that at that, Mr. Vajpayee spoke in terms that have been interpreted to suggest that he would like to see Mr. Modi removed or resign and Mr. Advani got up, walked away and later said, if that were to happen, bawal mat jayega. If, if I remember the, uh, the contents of that interview correctly, uh, according to Mr. Jaswan Singh, what Mr. Vajpayee said, Gujarat ka kya karna hai? And then, of course, uh, what you have said, uh, Mr. Advani probably went to the restroom uh, there. And uh, I, I, I wasn't in that uh, plane because uh, I never, hardly ever went to any political meetings of the BJP with, with the Prime Minister. But from this very thing, it is clear that he did not say to Mr. Jaswan Singh and ask him that uh, Modi should resign or something of that kind. He said, Gujarat ka kya karna, if I remember correctly. This is, this is what he said. So, in terms of... Now, now, I quite agree with what Mr. Advani said, according to Mr. Jaswant Singh, that there would be an uproar in the party if that were to, to happen. There would have been an uproar in the party in, in that regard. If you remember, uh, Mr. Modi offered to resign at the Goa meeting and he was shout, shouted down by the uh, party members saying there is no, no need for anything like that. Did Mr. Vajpayee believe that the corrective action he wanted was taken or did he feel disappointed on that score? I don't know but uh, I don't think there was any corrective action. He never, there was no corrective action. I thought it, I can, I, I mean, I, So the presumption is that Mr. Vajpayee too would believe there was no corrective action. Well, no, I'm, this, I can't say on his behalf because we never discussed the matter. Mr. Jaswan Singh has also, in one of his interviews, said that 
on this occasion, maybe not at that precise moment, but sometime around this time, Mr. Vajpayee was moved enough to want to resign. He picked up a pen, began to write his resignation letter, and Mr. Jaswan Singh reached out and stopped him. Are you aware of Mr. Vajpayee wanting to resign on this issue?